Okay, let's connect the BMS to the battery. So the first thing to do is remove the balance leads from the BMS. Do not leave the balance leads connected to the BMS while you connect them. You have to take them off. This is super, super important. You could potentially destroy your BMS. Okay, so, and again, we've got the battery now set up here in, inside the box. We've got cell number one, cell number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down to 16. So number one will be the one with the most negative terminal. Don't do it the other way around. I had this, but it doesn't match the app later on for your BMS. So number one, most negative terminal. And then we take our balance lead here and they usually have at least one black wire, a lot of white ones and one red one. Sometimes they don't have the red one, but they always have the black one. The black one is the most negative terminal you want to connect this one to. So follow this wire through with your hand until you get to the end. Crimp a ring lug on it, six millimeter. And then we connect this one to our most negative terminal of our battery. Second wire is a white one and now it gets tricky. Don't ever mix up these white cables. So really put them between two fingers and then pull it through until the end. This is our second wire, our first white one. And that's why I put a one on here. This is our first positive of the battery. So this is our first cell, negative, black wire, positive, number one. Okay, you can guess it already. The second white one, feed it through. Second white one, number two, goes to the second battery, positive. Okay, and here's a little tip. I mean, uh, at least this is how I do it. I'll make sure all these terminals, they are pointing to one direction because later on I will take all these balance leads and have them strapped into the middle. So they're going into the middle of the battery like this and it looks clean. You know, I don't want to have cables hanging around everywhere on batteries. You sometimes see this in videos when they have the balance leads just over the battery all over the place. I don't like this spaghetti situation at all. I like it clean. So I'll make sure they're all pointing in the, in the same direction. So later on I can wire them up like this and it looks clean and is safe. The, uh, the third white one is coming. And I labeled this with number three. And this is of course the positive of our third battery cell, which is just over here. All right, and you keep going until you have connected all these remaining wires to in the right order to your battery cells. So for this BMS, don't worry that this one is a red one, just treat it the same as the white ones. Okay, time lapse. Okay, I have now connected all 14 leads of this plug here. Um, my BMS has got a second plug with more wiring cables. And now you need to be uh, very aware of what you are doing in terms of cabling this second one. You need to have a look at your wiring diagram for your battery. Because my BMS is a 7S to 20S, so it can handle 7 cells in a row, up to 20 cells in a row. So I've got the maximum balance leads for 20 cells here, but I've got only 16. But you cannot leave any of these cables unconnected. And the diagram, if you have a close look, you can see for cell number 14 and cell number 16, there are several wires which need to be connected to this battery. So they're all sensing the same voltage later on. So you need to look at your wiring diagram and hook this all up accordingly, correctly. See here number 14 has five wires connected, while number 15 only one, and number 16 again has two wires connected. 
cable number 16 goes to the most positive of the battery. So we now have cabled all our battery cells to the balancing leads and we can safely plug in these both connectors into our BMS, right? Wait, before you do that, you should never plug in the balance leads into the BMS without checking them. So now it's very important before you plug this one into your BMS, you need to check all your contacts and measure the voltage. And this is a very, very critical step in connecting your BMS. It's not only important to check your cabling at your battery cells, but you need to check the voltage here on this plug and see if it matches your battery voltages. So again, we start with a black wire and connect our voltmeter probe to this contact. And then we measure the next contact, which is our first white one. And we will measure 3.59 volts. So what exactly are we measuring here? So we are measuring the black wire, which is our most negative point in the battery. And we measure our first white one, which is the positive terminal of our first battery cell. So remember battery cell number one. This is our black wire here. And this is our wire number one. This is our first white cable. So we are measuring the voltage over this cell. And this is 3.59 volts. Perfect. So the next step is to take off your positive probe and put this on the second contact of your balance lead plug. And we measure now 7.15 volts. So what does this mean? This means we are measuring from the negative point of the first cell over the first cell across and to the second white wire here. This is our positive contact of battery cell number two. So we've got two battery cells now in series and that's why we measure 3.15 volts. So keep your negative terminal with the black wire and then follow all the other contacts in the order of the plug. So first cell, second cell, and now the third one should be another 3.6 volts on top of that. We should be at 10 point something. There we go, 10.7. And now number four is another 3.6 volt on top of it. There we go, 14, 17. Now we will be over 20. So 25 round, yep, yeah. plus 3, 28, plus 3, 32, 35, 40 volts, 43, and the last one here is 46.6. So you can see we've got an increase in voltage every time we measure one of the balance leads the voltage increases by 3.6 volts roughly. And once you have measured this and confirmed this voltage increase with every step you do, that is perfect. This means you have correctly connected your balance leads to your battery. And now in my case, I've got the second balance plug here. So you measure the last one again. This was 46. And now we are measuring the first one of the second plug. Should be 50. And now it goes on 50. 50, 50. See, it's not increasing anymore because all these contacts, what I'm showing you right now, they're all connected to each other. These five contacts here of the second row, this is our cell number 14. This is our cell number 14. All five contacts in this row are connected to one battery. That's why the voltage is not increasing. But this is as per the wiring diagram I have shown you before you need to connect these five cables to this one terminal just for this configuration of a 16S battery. 53 and now we've got another 57. This will be our maximum and the last one will be 57 again because we have connected two of these cables to the same terminal again at our most positive contact of the whole battery. So 57.4 is our maximum voltage. So this is all perfect and means we can now connect the balance leads to our BMS. 
Well, the first time I did this, I, I have checked the balance leads actually four times before I was brave enough to connect it to the BMS. If you made a mistake somewhere and accidentally swap two of the cables and the voltage is not increasing with every step you measure with your balance leads, it may fry your BMS right away. It will destroy it straight away. So it is really important to do this measurement before you connect everything to your BMS. And this is also a reason why I have written down the number of the balance lead. So I can see here number 7 is number 7. Number 5 is number 5. Number 13 is number 13. So I can easily check visually that everything is connected correctly. Well, again, this is just me, you know, but uh, better safe than sorry. You can see we have B0 there and B20. These are the 21 balance leads which needs to be connected and they're coming in two plugs with this BMS. So I'm plugging in the first one. The BMS will start beeping. There we go. First one is in. Second one is in. And this should be all good. So in this one there's no light indication or something, anything else. There's nothing you can actually check that this one is working. Okay, so the only way to check if the BMS is working correctly is by using the app. Born for lithium battery safety. Okay, and we go to the dashboard first and see we've got the temperature reading. We've got the total voltage of 57.2. We've got a voltage range from 3.31 to 3.6. Oh, that's quite a lot, actually. I wonder. Okay, and we go to our battery state. It gives us an overview. Some numbers here. Total voltage. Cell numbers 16. The average voltage is 3.58. Uh, page number 2. And we can see all the cell numbers and voltages now of each individual cell via the app. And you can also see battery number 5 now has this little B flashing behind it. So this means this one is in balance mode. So it will be discharged with maximum 200 milliamps at the moment. And even considering 200 milliamps is not much because we have 280 ampere hours battery cells, you know. But you need to remember, we are now in the steep, very steep curve of the battery of the lithium iron phosphate batteries. We are at 3.6 volts. So it is very easy for the BMS to discharge the battery cells and pull the voltage down. Even 200 milliamps doesn't sound much. It's still working. I really wonder why cell number one is so low in voltage. That is really weird. Okay, if we go back in the menu, we can see the parameter settings. It's reading now all the parameters from the BMS into the app. So it does a live snapshot now. And this is where you put in all the parameters of your battery cells. So we've got a 16S configuration. 280 ampere hours is the nominal capacity of these are the protection parameters for each cell. So over voltage occurs at 3.65 volts. This is the maximum we should charge these cells to. The under voltage is 2.5 volts, so we should not go under 2.5 volts. And this is where you can set your individual parameters for your battery pack. So it doesn't matter which kind of batteries you are using with this BMS, as long as it is lithium iron phosphate batteries, you can set your parameters in the app and change everything accordingly to your needs, to what you want the battery to do. So you can just tap on this one here and put it on 3.5, for example, if you want that. Because usually you don't charge the battery to 3.6 volts. You keep this a little bit lower, but you can fully customize your BMS here to your needs. And once this is all changed, you click on this little tick at the top right. And it saves the information from the app now into the BMS. BMS beeps as confirmation has received everything. And now all the cells above 3.5 volts will be balanced. So we can go back into our information here and you can see and they all get balanced at the moment. So this is all perfectly working as design, right? Guys, I was so excited when this one popped up the first time and I could see the balancing happening. That was so amazing. All right, I don't want to go through all the parameters of this BMS because this will take hours. Okay. 
I I really want to know why our battery number one is so low in voltage. See, this is our cell number one. It's 3.58 volt, but the app tells us, but the app tells us it's 3.299 volt only. So something does not work correctly here. Checking all the connections here again. Yeah, this all seems to be fine. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the BMS and reconnect it again. So this is off now. Now plug it back in. You can also hear the contactor inside clicking. Okay, let's measure here again. 3.58 still. So our battery cell number one is totally fine. Battery state, voltage. Yeah, again, 3.295 volts only. So battery, battery cell number one is far too low measured. And I don't know why that is. Ah, I got it. Guys, what I did not do is I did not connect the B minus of the BMS to our battery. We have just connected all the balance leads, but not the B minus. And watch cell number one here, which is the top left one. When I connect the BMS to B minus to our most negative port, there we go, 3.596, it jumps to the correct voltage. When I disconnect the cable, 3.294 volts. So now it doesn't measure correctly anymore. So it needs this one here to be connected to measure the correct voltage of the first cell. That is very interesting because I was not expecting that it needs the big cable for any voltage sensing at all. But this is the cause why it is not accurate. Okay, well usually this is of course connected to the battery, otherwise your whole battery would not work. So, ah, well I learned something interesting. So I just want to give you a quick overview about the Kyoyu CC uh, 200 amp BMS, smart BMS here. They are not producing this one anymore at the moment. Someone uh, left a comment under my videos and said he was in contact with QUCC and they said they are upgrading this one here now with some different electronics or something. So there will be an upgraded version of this BMS coming out very soon, which you can buy on AliExpress again. Then I'll, um, I'll follow this up with QUCC as well and let you know when this one is available. But they've got a couple of other BMSs as well, which I will link down below and on my website as well. So if you're interested in buying a QUCC, they are cheaper than the Delhi, Delhi BMSs, a lot cheaper sometimes. And I think they are doing exactly the same as the Delhi ones. And I like this relay thingy situation in here because it doesn't create that much heat anymore. And I thought, well, give this one a go here with the relay inside and see how this works. If it works well, it's a good recommendation for others. If it doesn't work that well, well, then you know and you shouldn't buy this at all. But I think it will just work fine. Okay, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel, all your comments. And we shall see us again in the next video. Thanks again. See you then. Bye bye. Guys, you won't believe I just found a frog. I won't believe where this one lives. It's my barbecue. <laughs> there he is. It's, he's insane, really. <laughs> it must be so hot in there. I don't think he wants to go. There he is. There's the frog living in my barbecue <laughs> okay i'll leave this one open so he can go anywhere <laughs>